Hi, so I am KB with Nerdifiles. How are you guys? Good, how are you? How are you? Doing well, thank you. Uh, so, you know, Brad and Sasha get themselves into some situations uh, uh but we love messy characters because life is messy right mm -hmm. so i will start with you margaret so sasha is brilliant bold ambitious and loves to give advice so what do you think that sasha inadvertently kind of learns about herself and relationships by helping billy kind of through this love triangle that she's in Ooh, um well i think so Sasha really functions in the world of the of the season as kind of the moral center of the piece, you know, she is able to step outside of the triangle and really assess like what is the best thing to not, you know, create un unretrievable chaos. <laughs> um, and so I think what she learns throughout the, the piece is one, her friendship is far too important to let something, uh, you know, get in its way like a guy and that she has to, you know, reorient her own um, more liberal sense of sexual engagement to really respect that and really protect that. Um, and then as she begins engaging with more men who, who aren't, uh, interested in kind of letting her go and having kind of a laissez-faire uh, sexual relationship with her, she's really forced to kind of reevaluate for herself and, and lean on Billy to, to kind of get a sense of like, oh, is she living her own best life has, as she thought she has? So it's really wonderful to see how they have to chart, how they continue to need each other throughout the season in different ways. Ooh, yes, absolutely. I love that. And uh, for you, Adam, you know, clearly Brad is the man in the middle of this all, kind of in the center of it all. Uh, but really, he's just a man who's in love. Uh, but even love is no match for past trauma mm -hmm. and kind of managing and navigating that. So what do both Sasha and Billy teach Brad? And, you know, how does that shape the man that he really becomes by the end of the season? I think, you know, the past, the relationships he has, it is so powerful to him that it forces him to then look at what happened back in his childhood and, and his past issues. And so it's only th they became the catalyst of him being brave enough to go there. And then what that creates is a man in present day who's more evolved, who has dealt with some stuff, and, but is now living with the regret of not have done it sooner because he lost the you know love of his life. So that's a really interesting thing to to navigate for sure yeah i mean you know i do agree that kind of at the base of all of this is still friendship and i feel like even with brad you know like brad and sasha kind of develop their friendship through billy um you know billy is friends with sasha naturally that's her go-to that's her person um so if you guys could pick kind of a relationship that we didn't get to see this season that you would like to explore next season, what would that look like and who would it be? And I'll, I'll start with you again, Margaret. Wow, you got me out here thinking of the future. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> well, you know, it's it's any man's guess what they're what they're thinking of for for the future. I know that they're absolutely many ways uh, that the story could go and they're ex excited to explore um, many of them. So hopefully we, we have the opportunity because I think there's a lot of rich, fertile ground that we lay in the first season. And I know from all those cliffhangers in the last one that I want to see how things close out, you know, <laughs> or, or progress. Um, yeah, I, I just hope within their each character's life that they really continue the conversations, continue talking and, and um, you know, come being real with one another, coming come to terms with what, what's there because they have too much history to ignore. Oh, yes. And for you, Adam, who would you like to see, uh, which character see, uh, explored their friendship or relationship even, that dynamic kind of explored further in season two, should you guys get it? Uh, I think Devin's really funny. I, th I, I think the character Devin's really funny. So, I, you know, I'd like to see him and uh, 
Yeah, and the, and he and Cooper have a you know have you how many have you seen the whole thing? I have. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. So it's interesting to see like that that sort of um, butting of the heads goes later. I thought that was that was pretty cool. And then you've got like the the women that live um, in the neighborhood too. Like it'd be cool to see what goes on with that. But yeah, I'm I'm smart enough to know when I'm not smart enough about something, and I definitely don't know how to write a TV show. And so I'll leave it up to the experts that we luckily have on board. Whatever well, it is, you know it's going to be juicy. I know, I know, because those three women in the neighborhood alone, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for chatting with Nerdophiles. I can't wait for everyone to see it. And you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. You too. Thanks.